you look back at your first start against Texas, where have you grown since then? What has kind of stood out to you about this journey? Um, you know, that feels like it was a year ago, um, honestly. But, uh, you know, just kind of learning how to be a pitcher in the big leagues, um, you know, how that goes about each and every day, I think, is a big thing. Okay, over on the right in the back. Hey, Grayson, those first 10 starts of the season and then being sent down to the minors, what did you, you know, you've talked about your fastball command, how you've improved as a pitcher, but what did you learn about yourself at the beginning of the season during those 10 starts? Uh, I think the big thing was just kind of how I handled a little bit of adversity. Um, you know, obviously not performing how I wanted to that first half, um, being able to go back down, kind of, you know, straighten some things up and then come back and be more of the pitcher that, that I know I can be. Did you talk with any other pitchers on the team who have gone through similar experiences, you know, who maybe struggled at the beginning of their careers or also had gotten sent down? And if you did, can you just talk about what they maybe said to you? Well, I think, you know, one of our veterans, Kyle Gibson, was a guy that I leaned on. Uh, you know, he's been around, you know, quite some time. Uh, he's got 10 years. And, you know, just being able to ask him uh, all different kinds of questions really helped me out a lot. Okay. Dan in the front. Grayson, your first uh, start in big leagues was against Texas Rangers. Here you are making your first playoff start and it's against Texas Rangers. How much do you look back on like when you were growing up in the in your teens and stuff and watching these good uh, Texas Rangers teams and now get a chance to face them here? Yeah, um, you know, obviously watched them a lot as a kid, uh, a lot of Rangers and Astros games. So, uh, you know, just kind of being able to face a, a team like that uh, is pretty special to me. Um, you know, something I've been dreaming of for a while. Sorry. Uh, Chelsea. Hey, Grayson. Um, I just wondered how you've seen Adley develop as a catcher and, and in particular what he's kind of done to evolve at the big league level. Yeah, um, you know, that's obviously a very uh, tough position um, to play every day, and I think he's handled it uh, and then some. So, uh, you know, seeing him, uh, how he calls the games, um, I think that, you know, reflects on him. You know, the, the pitching staff's had some good success, um, you know, and he's been back there behind the dish. So, uh, you know, that's credit to him. Grayson, you guys played a lot of one-run games and close games. Has that allowed you to be a little bit more battle-tested for a playoff experience? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think so. Um, you know, I think that series against Tampa uh, really kind of put us put us off on the right foot uh, for the postseason, um, being able to, you know, play some close games like that, um, you know, with the crowd and the atmosphere and everything. Uh, I think it's definitely gotten us prepared for this moment. Okay, middle second hey. row. Hey, Grayson, what has Justin Ramsey meant to your career? I think you were with him a lot in the minors, and particularly this year when you went back and got with him. Uh, what kind of things has he helped you with, and what has he meant to your whole career? Uh, it's meant a lot in my whole career. Um, you know, first met him in 2019 uh, when I was 19 years old. So, uh, you know, the, the development part of my career, you know, all goes to him. Um, I mean, you know, there's, there's nobody uh, – you know, that I'd rather have in the minor leagues coming up through this system uh, have them my pitching coach. So, uh, you know, he definitely helped me get to this point. Second okay. like round. Grayson, I imagine in your first big league start, no matter how much you prepare, the it, can, you, it might be easy to get a little starstruck by the names and guys you're facing in the yeah. lineup. Um, how have you progressed in the, in the year since, and, and where's your confidence at, and do you feel sort of on an even plane with a lot of the guys you pitch against now? Yeah, uh, this feels like normal baseball to me. Um, you know, seeing the other names in the lineup, uh, you know, it's pretty exciting uh, to see big names. Uh, and really, I don't know, there's just something about it uh, that makes it a lot of fun to go out there and pitch, uh, you know, to a really good lineup uh, like those guys have. And I'm really just excited to see what I can do tomorrow. Okay, Andy, go ahead. Grayson, when you say you've learned what it means to be a big league pitcher, how much of that is mental? How much of that is physical execution of, of your pitchers? I think it's a good bit of both, um, you know, just being able to show up to the ballpark every day with a fresh mind, um, you know, being able to go out and pitch, be both physically ready. Um, you know, it's a good mixture of both, but uh, just mentally being able to go out and attack the strike zone. Okay, over here. Grayson, over the last six months you got called up, sent down, called up. Uh, just mentally, what was it like to, to go through the season, and how do you feel now looking back in the last six months? Uh, you know, looking back on it, I've learned a lot. Um, just kind of, you know, having to deal with the adversity. It's the first time really in my career that I've run into something like that. Um, just being able to go down and, and, and get things straightened up and come back and, you know, just kind of be the pitcher that I know I am. Okay. Anything else? We'll take one more over here. I mean, when you, when you talk about getting things straightened out, obviously when, when you came back up here, you were a different pitcher almost right away, and that's been consistent. 
if you really had to point to something that changed in that time that you were down, what, what would you point to? Uh, I think it'd be fastball command. I think that's the big thing. Uh, you know, getting strike one is the most important thing. Uh, being able to, you know, go in or out on these hitters. Um, you know, I think the velo doesn't really matter to big league hitters. Uh, you know, they can pretty much hit, uh, you know, 100 pretty easily. So uh, the, the command is the big thing, and that's, that's what I learned.